Are you awake? What? Hello? <laughs> Where are we? Who are you? <laughs> we just woke up, spent the night in a Walmart parking lot in Niceville, Florida. That's up in the panhandle just before you hit Alabama on the way out. Anyways, yeah, we're um, just heading kind of northwest, trying to get out of this hot, humid weather. And uh, we got to go through Tornado Alley, and it's really active right now. That's the plan for today anyway. Well, we're heading north now, and we're on Highway 4, heading for Atmore, Alabama, I guess. We always take the back roads. And it's nice because it's getting hilly again. We're finally getting out of that flat Florida terrain. Hey, Linda and I were talking about something interesting. We and are? it's we yeah. yeah, we were talking about what's our least favorite state or our most favorite state. And at first, well, still, it's pretty hard to choose because there's variables that you got to eliminate. For example, when we talked about our least favorite state, if you take politics out of it, there is no state that we like the least. We kind of like all states. I mean, yeah, you say, well, it's too hot and humid. Well, not all year. <laughs> or it's too cold. Same thing, not all year. And, so, and, and those conditions, they vary person to person, I mean. Though they do, you bet. For example, we love Arizona, but we'd never be there in the summertime. Just, you know, you got to hibernate in the summertime. You got to just stay inside, so that wouldn't be good. But that doesn't make it a bad state. It just makes, they're all, all states are like that. Look at Montana. You say, oh, too darn cold. Yeah, <laughs> but not in the summertime and the falls are beautiful. So you see what I mean? All the states are pretty nice. I mean, there's no reason God created them all. So they're all, <laughs> they're all beautiful. They all just have different features that make them different, not good or bad. That make them stand out on their own, you know? <clears throat> yeah. You know, like Hawaii has the beaches, Florida has the beaches. Um, Montana's got the mountains. Right. Um, Arizona has the desert. Utah has those beautiful rock formations. And all different. Okay, here's another one public lands of so many states when you get east of the Mississippi River there's very little in the way of public lands and uh, for our channel we need public lands because that's how we camp yeah. just on public and lands. public lands you, you you're talking mainly about uh, uh, national forests and your land management right oh I don't know and it, well, I said if you took population and politics out of it, um, California would be a. Ooh, that would be like one of the best states. Yeah. Right. Hey, by the way, I gotta tell you though. <clears throat> ever since we hit Kentucky, I guess it was, and down into Tennessee and down to Florida, we've run into the nicest people. Sure. Yep. There's something about it. It's like, for example, I mentioned it to my daughters the other day and they said, well, people in Montana are nice. They're very nice, very nice. But here, I think it's that Southern uh, hospitality, that Southern upbringing where, you know, uh, manners are, are bred into you and, and having good manners just turns around and makes you a friendlier, nicer person. Yeah, like when you uh, meet when you buy something at a store in Montana, they might say, thank you. Down here, they'll say, thank you. Hope you have a, a wonderful afternoon. It goes another step down here, you know. And also twice on this trip, since I think South Carolina, Linda, Linda and I went into a, a, Shell, a Shell gas station convenience store to buy coffee. And we walked up to the cash register and the clerk says, is that all you're getting? And we says, yeah, and, they, she, and she says, well, have a nice day. Then gave us the coffee for free. And yeah. then... Well, she said, y'all have a wonderful day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, it was that. Yeah. And then day before yesterday, down in um, Ocala, Florida, um, I walked into a convenience store to get a couple um, 
bottles of iced tea for Linda and I. And the lady in line in front of me, she turned around and, and she says, is that all you're getting? And I says, oh, I says, yeah, I, I says, and she says, she turned around the clerk, she says, I'll get it. And I told her, I said, no, 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 you don't need to do that. And she says, no, she says, I'll get it. And she was just the lady in front of me in line. So you see what I mean? Or I just look needy. <laughs> Must be the way I'm dressed. <laughs> Well, this is Saturday morning. We just made Atmore, Alabama. My first time in Alabama, Linda's too. And we're on the way up to um, Waynesboro, Mississippi, and then kind of northwest up towards Oklahoma. But anyways, <laughs> it's, it's never definite anyway. But we just stopped at this little uh, roadside swap meet, so we're gonna check it out. <laughs> I did, I got three screwdrivers, but the one thing I found was I found this bag of uh, black wire ties, and uh, he only wanted four bucks, but I think he took three bucks, because I only paid six dollars for everything. <laughs> Anyways, worthwhile, yeah. Of course, we haven't found any boondocking out here. <laughs> Uh, the last place we were able to boondock was just north of Hannibal in, in Missouri, along the Mississippi River. Everything else has been Walmart parking lots, Cracker Barrel parking lots, and uh, mooch docking at the sister's house in Florida. And then the other thing is, if you're going to camp here, you got to camp in campgrounds, and I think that's why on YouTube you don't find a lot of videos on people camping east of the Mississippi uh, because you're just in, mostly in crowded campgrounds and you've got to make a reservation. We were looking at a campground last night that we were thinking of staying in around uh, uh, Panama City, Florida, but by the time you got, you have to make reservations everywhere. You can't just drive in and put money in the, what do they call that, the metal? The Iron Ranger. The Iron Ranger, yeah, just drop, fill out an envelope and drop it in. You can't do that. When you pull in, you got to call a phone number and you've got to uh, make a reservation and then they're going to charge you for the campsite. They're going to charge you extra for your vehicle. It's like, how would I go drive to a campsite if I didn't have a vehicle? And then you have to pay the reservation fee and it, it adds up. That's in state parks I'm speaking of. So, yeah, there's not a lot of great camping out here, I'm afraid. If you camp like us, which we prefer to be camped um, kind of by ourselves, you know, out somewhere, you know, in remote, you know. But we didn't expect that back here anyway. We knew it was going to be like this. And it's part of the reason why we came out here was to just play with it and see what it was like uh, and find out where we could stay. So, yeah, we had a very quiet night last night in the Walmart parking lot. I got to tell you. Ever since we left Florida yesterday, the driving has just been great. We stay off the interstates, but the um, state roads, state and county roads in Florida have been smooth, and here in Alabama, it's been just like this. Hardly ever get anybody behind me. Just nice, smooth highway, back roads of America. Just love it. Well, Linda's planning our route there through uh, Tornado Alley. We're not concerned with tornadoes, it's hail. You can, you're, you're in a car, you can avoid a tornado, but hail. Oh, that, hail, no. <laughs> that's it. We check with the weather every morning and every night and look at the uh, short-term and long-term forecast. Right now it's looking pretty good except for Texas up into Oklahoma, especially uh, southern Texas. Major flooding over the next couple of days with up to six inches of rain the southern half of Texas. So, yeah, we won't be going through there. Well, we're in Waynesboro, Mississippi, and just looking for a place to stop and make lunch. We just passed a cemetery. I don't think anybody would bother us there, but we're kind of looking for like a city park or something. Well, we didn't find any nice parks. There was no green parks on the city map, you know, on my Garmin, so 
that means that there's, well, there wasn't anything we could drive to. Found this abandoned lot. You know what we did find? Can you read that gas sign down there? It says 275. I just filled up in Alabama about a half an hour ago for 329. Yeah, pickled eggs, my favorite. These we got from the Hooterites up in Montana. We just finished lunch. We had uh, pastrami, cheese, and cucumber sandwiches with mayo. That was really good. Thank you, Linda. In Hawaii, they call this Make Man Rain, which means dead man rain. You know when it's raining and the sun's shining? Don't know why they call it that, but they do. Well, we're probably 30 miles or 40 miles south of Greenville, Mississippi. We just came by um, several homes that were just leveled recently by tornado. And before that, earlier today, we saw roofing metal up in the trees. Right now, we're driving through some severe thunderstorms. It gets to raining so hard, I can barely see. Whew. What a day. We, le we left Niceville, Florida, <laughs> where we stayed at the Walmart parking lot, drove across part of Alabama. It was nice staying in Niceville because you had to be nice. Yeah, I had to be nice. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, and we left there. We drove across part of Alabama, then hit Mississippi and kind of diagonal northwest across Mississippi up towards uh, Greenville, Mississippi. And we finished off here just over the Arkansas state line. This place is called, uh, it's like Chicot Lake, C-H-I, yeah, Chicot, C-H-I-C-O-T. And this is a county RV park, a whole $10 a night. Uh, because we don't need hookups here. Yeah. Yeah. And now it's time for, this is a Yingling Black and Tan. This is good beer. I had their lager. Anyways, good one. Um, the roads. Oh gosh, the roads. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, they're so bad, they shake your brains out of your head. Mm-hmm. Um. We had um, really good, good roads in Florida. I, man, I got to give it to Florida. Not, I'm excluding the um, interstates. I'm just talking about the state and county roads that we yeah. always travel. Smooth. Smooth. Alabama was good. Yeah. Um, we came through South Carolina, thought they were trying to kill us. Yep. I, th I, I think they were. <laughs> I-95 coming heading south through South Carolina, and uh, I think it was 26 down a ways, and then 95. and. Their roads are so bad there that there were every every couple or every two to four miles there was a car pulled off, blown tire. It was so bad. We started looking at the cars on the side we were passing. They had blown tires yep. because the road was so bad. Fixing a tire. Yep. And we got off. We just I tried to go slow, but the traffic was doing 70, and we just got off and took the back roads until we got the heck out of South Carolina. Shame on you, South Carolina. You're trying to kill people on your highways. Um, <laughs> Mississippi. <laughs> what do you think of the Mississippi roads? Um, yeah. <laughs> you know what? The cheapest, it's the cheapest gas that we've come across here in Mississippi was 271 a gallon. I even saw 268. Um, obviously not enough gas tax. Because... Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah. Not enough revenue for the gas tax to uh, maintain their roads. Right. Maybe, you know. Yeah, obviously something. They need to put up signs like they do in Montana. Road, unmaintained, travel at your own risk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, but... Or, nah. or bad road ahead, turn yeah. around. <laughs> yeah, what's the other one? A bad, bad break. Bad break? Yeah, remember we used to see the signs on the road that would say bad break, and it meant there was a rutted road, bad road coming oh, up. Oh, right, 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 yeah. I don't know where that was, bad break. 
I guess so. You'd think at least Mississippi, they would warn you that there was something coming up around the corner that could like break your axle. Nothing, you just, the road's fine and then you come around a corner and there'd be a deep, sharp pothole. Pothole, yeah. Man. Pothole, big potholes. It actually was bad enough in, um, in South Carolina was bad enough that it damaged our um, Garmin. Um, we've got that, what is it, the 780 RV? Um, the navigation. The, yeah, the Garmin Navigator, it actually damaged it and uh, um, it doesn't have audio. So I got to send it in for repair. Just shook it so bad, but good to be here though, yeah, dear? Yeah, that breeze feels good. It feels good not to be moving. And uh, you know that bang. <laughs> <laughs> it's so nice here. I wanted to stay two nights because I got some work I need to get done. But it's going to be 92 here and we don't have AC. So we'll be moving on tomorrow. Mm, yeah, and that looks like a... And there's rain coming. I can feel it. Thunderstorm brewing there. Oh, so, yeah. And we, uh, we went through a... Rainstorm? Did we ever? Yeah, we were worried that it would uh, turn into hail, but luckily it didn't because the temperature dropped and mm -hmm. did all those things. But uh, it was blinding rain; couldn't even see. You had to slow way down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What we're trying to do now is just uh, get through Arkansas, get through Oklahoma, because on the other side, where the weather will be back to yeah. normal for us, and we can go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We've been watching the weather, and. Uh, for the last couple of weeks and especially the last couple of days before we left Florida and watching the way it travels from Texas. And it, it's been hitting um, Nebraska, Iowa really bad and hitting Texas really bad. And there's just this corridor if you kind of travel through Southern Oklahoma that it looks like it's been staying open. So that's what we're shooting for. Yeah, we can't yeah. dip down into Texas because it's bad. Really bad. Well, anyways, you guys, I don't know if this is the end of this video or the beginning, but uh, thanks for coming along, for sure. <laughs> and thanks for sticking around to find out if it's the beginning or the end. Or the end, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get back to my beer. <laughs>